Office for iOS and Android is seeing some major delays. The Samsung Galaxy S4 ad campaign has begun with some changes, and the iPad 5 will definitely have a smaller bezel. I'm Jaime Rivera, and at the time of recording of this video, it was tied to nil with an awesome game. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start talking about T-Mobile and their iPhone 5 as they've become really aggressive on how to put the iPhone 5 on their carrier. Now they're offering you to waive their $99 down payment for the 16 gig iPhone 5 if you turn in your old iPhone 4S or iPhone 4, which is kind of really low for the market value of a used iPhone 4 or 4S, depending on how you treated your phone, but still. I mean, it's interesting to see T-Mobile doing absolutely everything they can to put this device on their network. And then let's talk about Google. The company is giving away 21 Nexus devices between Nexus 7s, Nexus 4s, and Nexus 10s, and even some Google Play Store gift cards if you, hear this, if you follow the Google Play Store on Twitter. Not Google Plus, Twitter. Just how bad does Google have to admit that their Google Plus has not taken off than to ask you to follow their services on other social networks, which you probably already did, and also give you away something. Now let's talk about Samsung as their Samsung Galaxy S4 ad campaign has taken off and interesting enough, they've changed their strategy. In the past, they were mocking iPhone customers for making lines for their iPhone, showing you that the Galaxy S3 was the next best thing, but now they're actually showing you that the Galaxy S4 is a superior device. They're actually showing you what the device is capable of with these new ads, sort of like iPhone ads in some way, but still, obviously, the Galaxy S4 does provide more added features than any iPhone that's ever existed, so these ads are kind of interesting, very good, and I like to see the fact that Samsung's actually not trying to compete this time. They're trying to show you that their product is better. Great. Now let's talk about the iPad 5. Those of you that were wondering what this device is going to look like, we already saw the leaked photos of the iPad mini-like device that's actually bigger, 9.7 inches as well. But now we finally have the first display being leaked, and it does have the smaller bezel, just like the iPad mini. So we can expect this device to look a lot like the iPad mini as well, but obviously we still don't know what dates it's going to be on because March is already over. And now we have April, and well, the first generation iPad was launched in April, so let's see what happens. And finally, for the sad and ironic news of the day, those of you that were waiting for Microsoft Office to reach your iPad or Android tablet, we've got some bad news. We were expecting it to be launched in March, but now there's a roadmap that shows that it'll probably be launched in 2014, along with the updates for the Surface RT running Windows RT, obviously. And just think about it. I mean, Microsoft Office, how important has it been in the last couple of years that tablets have been around? And well, that leads me to the question of the day. Are you waiting for Microsoft Office, the specific Microsoft Office suite to reach your tablet. In my particular case, honestly, with Google Docs getting better and better each time, I've lost the need for Microsoft Office in the last couple of years. Obviously, you cannot compare building a spreadsheet on Google Docs to what it's like to build it in Excel. No, there's just no comparison. Microsoft Excel is a ton times better, but still, do you really need it in your tablet? Leave us a comment down below. In my particular case, I don't need it on my tablet. I do need it on my computer, but not my tablet, so let us know what you want. Of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Let's hope we win the game. 99 bucks for the 16 gig iPhone 5. If you tune in, follow the Google Play Store on Twitter. Think about it. How more? How more? For the first time, we have actual display being available that does... Oof. All right. And finally, for the sad news of the day, those of you that were waiting for the I to the Microsoft Surface RT, Windows RT version, miércoles, come on, come on. The specific Microsoft Office suite, even it could probably be...